Everything in biology is coupled cycle, okay? Positive and negative. So you've probably heard many of my podcasts where I talk about light and dark are the key basis of the decentralized network. Well, it turns out melatonin also works on this coupled cycle idea. And the idea is this is predator and this is prey. So I want you to think about melatonin as the predator. The YouTube video that you should watch is when we took the wolf out of the uh, Yellowstone National Park. Just by taking the predator out of Yellowstone changed the direction of the rivers. When you hear the leap that I just made for you sounds crazy. But when you actually see how the asymmetric non-collateral things happen, then you begin to go, this is incredible. And when they added the wolf back in, guess what happened? Everything self-corrected. In other words, you didn't need, you know, big pharma chemotherapy or caterpillar coming in and changing the rivers back. You didn't need any of that. Nature is self-corrected because it works on thermodynamic principles. Turns out cancer is the same way. So what am I saying to you? Since your body makes melatonin and you take it exogenously, what do you think happens in the body? You down-regulate the endogenous production. So is it a good idea to use long term no because it leads to problems okay so i wrote a, a piece that you probably be interested in it was on linkedin i think it was in 2018 why have our kids become melatonin junkies like every kid is on melatonin from the pediatricians because of guys like you just mentioned he's like oh it's so great the problem is it's so great because he's myopic he doesn't understand the long-term effects of what this problem can cause and what does this lead to even more mitochondrial diseases and remember my job is not to take care of people for two or three months it's to give them advice over their life to stay away from my profession